Hello artists, today we're going to work on making a castle. And it's going to be a castle that has something called symmetry. This is where the left side and the right side are identical to each other. So on the sheet, there's several examples of castles just to give you inspiration. And the ones that I have circled are the ones that are symmetrical, where if we put a line down the middle, both sides are exactly the same. Now we want your castle to be very large. So we're going to use as much of this paper as we can. And so things are centered. We're going to make the short sides touch. That's to find the middle. So when I make my castle, first I think I want to start with a doorway. So on this middle line, I'm going to draw half a door and then the other half. Next, we need to think in terms of shapes, squares, rectangles, etc. So for my castle, next, I'm going to draw the center section. And we decide what's going on the top. Is it going to be flat on the top? Are you going to have little things called crenels? And that is where it looks like a dashed line. And then we go down, over, and up, like you're making a square U which this is an option. You don't have to do it this way. Then what comes next? Do you want towers on each side that have crannels on top? Do you want towers that come to points on it? So let's see, I'm going to draw a line over here and copy it and go up. And I think I'm going to put a little triangle on top. Or my castle. I can draw kernels in here, but I'm not going to be cutting those out. Because that would be way too hard. Then center section. What do you want in the center? Do you want another layer to your castle? Do you want another tower in the middle? I don't know. That's up to you. So I am going to add another section that has kernels. Because that's what that's called. Okay, now this empty space, it will be the sky. I'm gonna mark it so I know what's empty space. That empty space out here is what's going to get cut out. Notice I didn't color anything yet. And when I cut, I'm going to be super careful and make sure I don't cut the wrong thing. I want my castle to stay in one piece. For hard sections like this, I'm going to go across the top first. And then to get those little notches out, I'm going to cut some vertical lines and then fold it up. And chop that off and repeat. And the doorway is still intact still in one piece. And notice I didn't worry about cutting out those little notches. I just left that alone. Then before we forget, your name goes on the back. 